What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Hope you're all doing well out there. Hey, uh, I've jumped into this day really quickly and it's already about 10.30, so it's been a fast start. Sorry that I'm only just hitting the record button now. I want to kick off the episode today with just a couple of sold items overnight, just to give you a bit of an idea about what's selling for me. The first pair was this uh, Brooks Glycerin 9 pair of running shoes. Now, I picked these up for just $6 in the op shop and they have sold for $35 on eBay, but I did actually put $15 postage. Um, so I could take off a few dollars for postage charge and it's going to work out to a $40 sale price on the actual shoes. I mean, I'll take some fees off that, but I'm probably going to end up with about $35 in my pocket off this one and I've only paid six. So $29 profit there. The second item as well that I ended up uh, scoring was this decorative chest set. Um, so the decorative chest set I bought in an op shop for $10 and it was actually in a day in the life episode a few weeks back. So I'm really happy to get the result there. Um, it sold for 25 bucks. So $25 sale, I've only made 15, but I really like it when the random bric-a-brac items sell because I really don't have too much background or knowledge in them. And I just sort of go on a whim and kind of hope that it comes off, obviously using the comps of eBay. Uh, but this one paid off. I made a $15 profit on this one, minus a few fees because it was an eBay sale. But I thought I'd just kick off the episode with a couple of sold, only the two sold items, but at least they're ticking over slowly but sure. Um, I'm going to go to the retail outlets today because I've sold three of the five pairs of shoes I bought in last week's episode, which was covering retail arbitrage. So I'll put the link up here for you to go and check that episode out if you haven't watched it yet. But I'm going to go back there right now. I'm going to go digging for some more shoes on retail arbitrage to buy and flip and hopefully make a few dollars. So it's gonna be a fun episode today. We're gonna to cruise around, a few op shops, bit of retail arbitrage, obviously a couple of sales and a good brand to look out for. So hopefully this one's a jam packed for you. And uh, yeah, let's keep moving. As a sport lover, that was a pretty cool op shop to jump into. I couldn't believe that I saw six jerseys back to back in the thrift. Uh, the first one was a really cool one. It was the Manchester City. Uh, that was an awesome one. That looks pretty legit to me. I'm going to have to do some real proper looking into it, but I reckon that's maybe about $40. Fingers crossed. I'll have to do some comp searches to see. Um, I've got the Germany uh, soccer top as well. So this one looks pretty good too. It's an Adidas Climber Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, have to do some digging, but maybe 30 bucks. We'll see. Uh, Real Madrid. I found a Real Madrid away jersey. So that was really cool. Um, Real Madrid Fly Emirates. Uh, looks pretty good to me. It's got the La Liga on the, on the sleeve. So no names on the back of these ones, but still looks pretty, um, pretty authentic anyway. Uh, this one was a really cool one. This might go for a little bit more. We'll have to wait and see. This one was the FC Barcelona. Looks like an away strip or maybe a clash jersey. It doesn't look like a home um, top, that one, but I'll have to check what year that one was for, but that one looked pretty cool. This one was a long sleeve jersey. I don't know if it's a goalie jersey. Maybe someone in the comments can let me know, but this one's got a bit of a different neck on it, and it's also a long sleeve as well, so it makes me think it's maybe a goalie jersey, but I'll have to see. I just thought I'd definitely pick that one up. Um, and then the Essendon Bombers AFL jersey as well. So these ones will go for about $30 or $40 pretty quickly i'd imagine because it is authentic it's an adidas 
um, AFL on field apparel. It's a it's a legitimate jersey. I know about that one for sure. So, look, if I can make an average of thirty bucks each on all of those, um, turn it into one hundred and eighty, paid sixty, one hundred and twenty dollars profit. That'd be a pretty good result. So, we'll have to see how we go with all of those. I've got to do a bit of research. Um, there are a few other things in that op shop. I just didn't know what to grab in the sense of the printers and the VCRs. I didn't know which were good. So, I'm going to have to do a bit more research before I go in and buy those sorts of items. Um, but that was a really cool op shop. There was a lot of cool stuff. Just went with the jerseys in there today, but I'll no doubt be getting back in there to grab some more stuff uh, in the next couple of weeks. Um, let's shoot off to Harbour Town. I really want to get into the Nike factory outlets. I want to try and grab some awesome shoes at a really discounted rate that we can flip on eBay. So I'm going to take you along for the ride and hopefully we can pick out some shoes and make some money. So let's keep going. Guys and girls, we are live in the field. I'm here at Harbour Town Factory Outlets on the Gold Coast. And this place has really got everything, all the major brands that you could possibly want. Um, so we're gonna go cash in and I'm gonna head straight to both the Nike and the Adidas store, which is just around here. And we're gonna see what we can get. Hopefully there are some great targets. Okay guys, so for two weeks in a row, I could not go past the same deal in the Nike store. I've spent, so last week it was basically $200 shoes down to $90, take a further 50% off. Today I walked in and there was no special on the men's shoes, but the women's shoes did have the same special. Instead of 50% off, it was 40% off. Still a fantastic deal. In the end, I've spent $108 on two pairs of women's shoes. So that means I've spent $54 each and that $200 shoes. So here's the receipt here saying $108. So not too bad. I had a good look around and my strategy going in was to try and find all the items on discount at 50% off. So a $200 shoe that was marked down to $100 but then it also needed to have the red ticket on it that said a further 40% off. That was the only thing I was gonna look for. And then from there, once I picked out all the shoes that were already 50% off to be then further marked down, I tried to pick out the best ones that were selling the best on eBay. And guys, for the second week running, there is nothing stopping the Flyknit 3.0s. These shoes are just moving like crazy on eBay compared to all the other shoes that I was seeing with the same sort of a deal in store. But rather than buying all the different types of shoes, these ones just win. They just, they sell better on eBay. They're already marked down to the price that you wanna be buying them at. I got these a little bit cheaper last week and I've already sold a couple of them already. So paying an extra $6 on the special today, I wasn't too disappointed. Um, so $54 for these. I'm gonna try and list these ones up this week for about $140 because they are $200 shoes. So we'll see how we go. Um, so I bought two pairs of those. Um, there were a couple of other pairs of football shoes, like the footy boots. There was those pairs of boots for $320, but you know, with that color pattern, I just, I wasn't sure if the sell through rate, rate was gonna be that quick. Um, so I just let those ones go, but that could have, you know, could have been a really good buy. And in future, I should probably test things out a bit by just trialing a few different brands and makes. But right now I'm just sticking to what I know works well. I've stocked up with another two pairs of shoes. Uh, in the Nike Flyknit 3.0s. They're a great shoe at a really great price and they will sell well. So awesome result there. Um, done a heap of shopping here. They've done the two op shops, a um, couple of golf polos, got all the footy gear. 
Um, got a couple of pairs of fly nets as well. So I'm gonna go back and list them, but I'll shoot back home and I just wanna show you this piece of furniture that I picked up off Facebook Marketplace because it was a ripping buy for just $40 and actually $30, I dropped him down to 30. Um, and these ones actually retail for $420, I believe. So I wanna show you those. Um, so let's get back to the house and we'll get into that. All right guys, so I did just wanna show you this one here, which was the TV unit that I bought off Facebook Marketplace this morning. I paid just 30 bucks for this one, guys. Um, and it is actually worth $400 in the shops from Super Amart. So it was a 2016 model. The brand was Ice, or the make of it was Ice. Um, I'll put the link here for you to have a bit of a look at, but really the only thing with furniture pieces is you just gotta check the drawers work, for one, that's why you're buying it, uh, to put stuff in the drawers. But you wanna make sure there's just no chips, uh, there's no dirt or anything like that. I mean, the dirt can come off with the sugar soap and the gumption. I've got the links below for my cleaning products that I use for furniture and shoes and all the rest of it. But this was just a really cool piece, that White Hamptons look, everybody's after that. Furniture flipping is a real thing, I tell you. I make a lot of my money during the week off furniture alone. I love the shoes, I love the clothes, but all my money really comes from the furniture items. So, awesome to pick this one up today. Hopefully, I'm gonna flip this one for $225, which will make me around about a $200 profit at the $30 pickup. So, I think it's been a really good one today. I'm pretty wrapped to grab it. I'm gonna clean this one tonight. I'm gonna try and list it tonight. And that way I'm gonna hopefully have it sold by the end of the week. And then we'll whack it into a what sold video and I'll tell you all about it further. Um, had a couple of extra sales today as well. Sold an Xbox bundle for $160. Added in a few extra games to make that a bundle pack. Um, so she came to the house today and paid $160. And I also sold a pair of Levi jeans as well for $25. Um, I know you can get a few more for the, for the Levi's, but it was cash in hand. It was Facebook Marketplace, no fees. So I'm really happy to get that. The Xbox was Facebook as well. So $185 there in, uh, in uh, sales, which is awesome. And uh, the purchase of a really cool TV unit that will sell well and everything bought in uh, the op shops today. So it's been a massive day. I'm gonna go and list everything this afternoon and tonight, put it all into the computer system as I do so I can keep track of my numbers. And uh, yeah, that's gonna round out a pretty big day, but a pretty good day. Uh, some good sales, some good pickups. Um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this sort of video. Um, I wanna make content that you wanna see and get basically information out to you that you wanna be taking in. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are on these sort of videos and uh, I'll just keep mixing it up and, and try to make the videos that you want to see. So thanks very much. Appreciate you tuning into this one. I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Bye guys.